New details have emerged in the investigation concerning two escaped inmates from the Lowndes County Jail. One of those inmates is back in custody while the other is still on the run. And our Shawanda Jones has the latest report from the Lowndes County Adult Det Detention Center. And Shawanda, what can you tell us so far? Fear spread throughout Lowndes County and the city of Columbus on Halloween night when two inmates escaped from the Lowndes County Adult Attention Center. Now one was apprehended right on the spot while still on the property and the other one, well, he got away and we don't really know where he is. Now the sheriff is asking for your help. Lowndes County Sheriff Eddie Hawkins says last night's escape was no coincidence. This, this was a, a planned operation. Terry LaShawn Brooks and an unnamed inmate decided to try their luck on the outside. Mr. Brooks was successful. Uh, the other inmate was not. Records show that this was not Brooks' first escape attempt after facing charges for his connection with the 2020 homicide in Lowndes County. Prior to him being brought back on these new charges, uh, in our system we show over 25 felonies that he was arrested for in his career. Hawkins says the escape began with a piece of metal and a plexiglass window. Once they got that piece of metal, they were able to basically saw through this Lexon plastic material. Once they got to the ventilation system, then they just were able to exit the building. Now, once they were outside the building, they still had several layers of constantine wire and fencing to get through to get to the outside perimeter. Hawkins says Brooks saw his chance and took it. He knew that once he's convicted of this charge that uh, there's a possibility that he'll never get out of jail again. So that's why he attempted the escape. Uh, he saw an opportunity, he saw a weakness in our security, and uh, he capitalized on it. Now the Sheriff's Department needs your help. We want the information. We don't necessarily need your name. You know, we need eyes and ears on the street to give us this information and uh, help us try to locate him and get him back in custody. We've just received new details within this investigation. So two people have now been charged with last night's escape. Stephen Douglas Jennings is charged with conspiracy and the other escape inmate who got caught. His name is Philip Shane House. Now Stevens ended up facilitating a Brooks and House's escape and he is held here. Both of them are held here at the uh, Adult Attention Center. We will have more on this story as it continues uh, to develop. There are a lot of moving parts. Telling your story here live in Lowndes County, Shawanda Jones with WCBI News.